Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and today I will show you what is new in VP Rental 3.3. This update focuses on improving the hourly booking selection and on extending VP Rental's elements that you can use in Elementor Page Builder. We also updated the login model design. The first item I will show you is how we redesign the hourly booking selection. We will use our office demo with hourly booking enabled to show you an example. Now you first select the day from the calendar and then you select the available hours when you wish to book the listing from two separate dropdowns. The first is for the start hour and the second is for the end hour. You can select guests and click on the book now button. Users can send booking requests only for available hours. If the period selected is not available, users cannot send booking requests. The hourly availability calendar that is included in the listing page will show exactly the hours available. If you'll use the booking form without guests, as in our gear rental demo, you can make the same selection for available hours without having to select guests. Next, I will continue to show you the new widgets for Elementor Page Builder as mentioned at the beginning of the video. Open a page with Elementor, go to the list of widgets on the left, and find VP Rentals widgets. We added eight new team widgets that you can use when creating beautiful pages with VP Rentals and Elementor Builder. The first element is an extremely flexible contact form builder that you can create with your chosen fields. Find the widget, drag and drop to your chosen place in the page, and then you start building the form. In the form, you can choose as fields, first or last name, email, phone number, guests, check-in and check-out, message, and a few more. You choose your text label for each and you can select if the field is mandatory or not. The field width can be managed from a separate dropdown, allowing you to add multiple fields in one row as well. You can enable the GDPR section, which links to the GDPR terms page you manage from admin. The message goes to the email you set as contact email in team options. And then you have separate styling options to manage the fields height, text, color, and size, the send message button, text and colors, and several other elements. We introduced three new widgets to create properties list with three different card designs. And for each widget, you control the design and what specific properties you wish to show. I will give you a short tour of the recent item shortcode with design version 2. The most important settings are the controls for the number of properties and the number of listings per row. You can use up to four actually. Next you have the filters to show only specific properties and in any combination you wish. So you can combine different categories, cities, areas. And you can show only feature properties as well if that is what you want to. In the show height field section of each property card version, you control the display of each element. You just select what you want to show or hide from this list. Moving on to styling, you have font size and colors management options. You also control the spaces between elements, the box shadow design and the colors of each element in the card. In summary, you have full control over the content and design. We continue with a beautiful VP Rental Script Builder for your properties categories. The widget can be used for property cities, areas, categories, and types. I will show you quickly how it works. You can switch between three design variations for the card. Each design is different, and then you can choose which of the six grid layouts you wish to apply, and each grid layout arranges the categories differently. You can display your chosen categories if you wish to show only specific ones and you can show listings with zero listings only as well and in which order. For design options, you can change the height of the image, you can add a specific border radius for each image, you also control the gap between the categories, rows and colors. You can edit the category text and listings number, position, their colors and font size too. The next element is the VP Renters property slider that now has three new design variations to choose from. 
SMAs with the list widget, you get full control over every version design and content. For the slider, you control the number of listings and auto scroll timer. And same as with the list widget I showed you before, you can choose which properties to list, what details to show for each card, and the style and colors of the card itself. Before ending the video, I want to show you quickly our new login register model. We have updated the design and as a new element, you can add your custom image to the model as well. The image is changed from team options and you can replace it with any image you wish from your library. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we invite you to subscribe to VP Rentals YouTube channel to get informed instantly when we publish new videos. And thank you for watching.